It was an announcement no one saw coming. I'll be resigning as Premier and as member for Bass. After a weekend campaigning with the Prime Minister, Peter Gutwin today called Scott Morrison to say he'd handed in his notice. The time is now right for me to move on and to attend to other things in my life. One of those things, his family. Peter Gutwin says he has no job to go to, but after two years as Premier, he wants to spend time with his son, daughter and wife. You know, I've got nothing left in the tank and unless you can give 110% to the role of Premier, um, you shouldn't be doing this job and I can no longer give more than 110%. They were words that echoed his predecessor, Will Hodgman. I believe Sarah Courtney when she resigned in February and Jane Howlett from Cabinet later that month. Peter Garwin says it wasn't the revolving door that took its toll, but the pressures of the pandemic. My wife and, and kids um, have just been outstanding in their support, but that period through Christmas completely drained me. It's a sudden end to a long political career. Peter Gutwin was elected in 2002 and made a name for himself early as a troublemaker. In 2003, he crossed the floor to support an inquiry into child abuse, a feat he was able to realise once in the top job. Mr Gutwin was appointed Treasurer after 12 long years in opposition and made a name for himself as a hard-nosed negotiator. I've had some uh, challenging debates with unions. Peter Gutwin had time off last year after collapsing in his office. He had worked 46 days straight. He took the job from Will Hodgman pre-pandemic, but like every state and territory leader, was thrown in the COVID deep end. The forced sacking of tens of thousands of our fellow Tasmanians this week at the stroke of my pen broke my heart. After sending Tasmanians to the polls a year early, he won the Liberals an unprecedented third term of majority government and a record 48% of personal votes in Bass. Thank you very much. The boy from Unamara leaving with a thank you to Tasmanians. I'm not a silver spooner, far from it. I come from a humble background and nothing has given me more pleasure than being able to support our community, especially those who, like me, come from less privileged backgrounds.